Bonjour! Today we are going to talk about public transportation in France. Most big cities have a good public transport system. For example, Paris has the Metro, which is an underground subway that travels all over the city. It usually works very well and is a lot of people's main way of getting around Paris. It is a really great way to avoid traffic and easily travel around the city for a relatively cheap price. It can get very crowded during rush hour because of everyone going to and from work. It is better to avoid them at this time if you don't want to be squished in between people. Buses are also usually available in major cities in France. They work the same way the metro does, by stopping in different parts of the city. As a tourist, they allow you to see the sights while getting to your location, which can be really nice to discover the city. To travel around the country, there is a train system called the SNCF. The network includes suburban, regional, national, and international lines. A train can take you across the country in a few hours and even to a different country. For example, there is a train that goes underwater from Paris to London in about three hours, which is really convenient. Of course, there are taxis in France, and they are really easy to use when you have to go to a specific location. However, they are much more expensive than taking the bus or the metro. The only real negative thing about French transportation is that there are often strikes that can last a very long time and completely shuts down the system. Metros can stop working for weeks because the workers are on strike and they are not afraid to do it for however long they need to. Not everyone has a car in France. Getting a license is hard and expensive and most people don't need one if their city or town has a decent public transport system. But if you live out in the countryside, there are not as many options for public transport and a car may be needed. Thank you for watching and à bientôt!